Hi everyone, I'm Joel Johnson, the seed production technician here at the Native Seed Search Conservation Center Gardens. And today we want to introduce you to what may be a totally new crop for you. But I think once you get to know it, this is going to quickly become a regular part of your garden or farm rotations, especially here in the low desert. These are auric seeds. And auric goes by a bunch of different names. You may hear it called giant um, lamb's quarters, sea purslane, salt bush, or mountain spinach. But whatever you choose to call this plant, what you need to know is that it is going to produce a tremendous amount of edible leafy greens that you can use in the same way that you would use spinach. So you can harvest these leaves right off of the plant or you can cook them the way that you would spinach or chard. And as you can see, these will grow four to six feet tall, so you get a lot of plant um, for the amount of garden that you're gonna dedicate to production. Some people call auric summer spinach and think of it as a warm season crop, but that's not exactly right because auric is still a cool season crop like most leafy greens. But what makes it such a great fit for the desert is that auric is really heat tolerant, so it's gonna be slow to bolt and go to seed, and that will allow you to, to harvest those leaves much longer than you would on other leafy greens that you're growing. Auric is gonna taste best if it's irrigated regularly, but it's also drought resistant, much more so than spinach. And so it gets that name salt bush because it's also adapted to alkaline and saline soil conditions, which are really prevalent in arid growing areas. So all of these together make it a really good choice um, for vegetable growing or farm production in the low desert. When auric does finally bolt and go to seed as we're starting to get into summer, you'll really notice uh, the seed heads forming really clearly at the top of the plant. And these, in addition to producing a lot of seed, are really attractive in your garden. And, and this is regularly used as an edible landscaping plant and even as part of floral arrangements. But what you're looking for if you're saving seed to use at the farm or the garden is for these seed bracts to be turning from green, or if you're growing a red variety, red, to a light tan, and you're going to see them just become uniformly tan all the way up. Once those are so dry that it's starting to shed if you shake the plant a little bit, then you can go ahead and clip them right at the base as long as they're a uniform color. And similar to a lot of dry plants that you're saving for seed, um, if they're still showing some green, you can just cut them a little bit lower down, take them into a courtyard or a dry area, and let them dry for a couple weeks, um, and then you can cut them a little bit earlier than you would otherwise. Hi, my name is Cheryl Joy, and I'm the collections curator here at Native Seed Search, and we are here in our seed lab, and we're going to work on saving uh, some of the seed from this auroch. Um, as you can see, this seed head has got lots of really golden brown seeds. It's fully ripe and ready, um, ready to work on saving the seeds. And we just simply rub, rub the seeds off. As you will notice at, when you do this, auric is a really interesting plant because it has not just one kind of seed, but two. And if you look closely, you can see the little tiny black seeds there. Um, and some of these smaller um, bracted seeds also will be little black seeds. Those seeds tend to be dormant and they don't germinate very well. Um, they may be preparing to sit around on the ground for a couple of years before conditions are right. Um, this plant just thinks ahead and it wants to cover all its bases and make sure it has lots of seeds for the future. So the seeds that we do want to save are the ones that have the larger golden round bracts. Um, and those, if you, if you choose to look inside, you can tear them open and find that there is a little golden brown seed, much larger than the other ones, and those will germinate readily, and those are the easiest ones for you to save. Um, here at Native Seed Search, we go through a lot of different seeds, and so we will use a screen like this um, to try to screen out those larger uh, seed heads. So. That's going to be keeping the ones that we want to save. Uh, you don't have to take the bract off in order to save the seed. As long as the seed is good and dry, it's fine to bag it up just like this. It can be pretty tedious to try to strip off all of that papery husk. So uh, it's fine to leave it just like that and put it in a nice uh, dry bag in your freezer. 
Thanks for sharing with us and watching today, and I hope you enjoy growing some Auroch, and happy seed saving.